Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Kent and today we've got an exciting video for you. I purchased a 59 Chevy pickup that just so happened to be right over that hill. It's at one of the neighbor's houses. I know very little about this pickup other than it's been parked for about 30 years. It was the one of the neighbor's daily drivers until it threw the harmonic balancer off of it. And it's a six cylinder truck. Like I said, I just went over there and glanced at it. We made a deal on it and he's wanting it moved out of there this weekend. So we're gonna get the trailer, get over there. We'll look it over and bring it back here to the shop. I don't know that the, we'll get a chance to work on it this weekend, but our plan is my son Jack and I will bring it back here to the shop. We're wanting to get it running and then maybe take it to a local cruise night or something. But the plan is to just see about getting it back running doing the least amount possible so we're going to get it over here obviously we're going to have to address the harmonic balancer issue he said that he dropped the oil pan on it too so hopefully i haven't looked at it that close like i said hopefully everything's sealed up good enough that it kept the water out but it's been parked for 30 years who knows what we're going to find but let's get the trailer and we'll get over there and check it out Here it is guys, 59 Chevy Apache. It is the small back window version. Looks, appears to be all there. It looks like a decent truck. We'll uh, take a quick look at it before we drag it on the trailer. It's fairly sunk into the ground. Not sure that we'll get those tires to take any air. Window has some custom ventilation in it. A big problem area on these trucks is under this brow, it tends to rust. This one looks pretty solid. It has bucket seats in it, which I really don't care for. They're high back buckets. I don't really like the way they look in there. We'll definitely be in the market for a bench seat. Got a nice toolbox. What do you think, AJ? Well, <laughs> that's not the engine, that's an old water hydrant I think this is a long wheelbase pickup judging from the gap right here it looks fairly large it's got some goodies in the bed that's part of an old lawn sprinkler this tractor sprinkler right here tailgates there it's got kind of a neat looking back bumper I like this indention there Got some steps on it, AJ's using. But a solid, complete pickup. These are getting hard to find. And I found this one pretty much right next door. Old yeah, those are some old gadgets. Really rusty? Like I said earlier, the balancer came off and put this thing out of commission. He got the balancer back on it, but they never finished the repair. So I don't know. We'll get it back to the shop and get it on the lift and we'll see what we come up with. But man, it's clean. A nice inline six. Got a, oh, that's a crack in it right here. Yeah, there's a crack right there. Looks like we got a Uga horn or some of some sort, so. It'll be interesting to see what that sounds like. Simple engines to work on. I actually have a couple spares if we end up having issues with this. I didn't even look to see what transmission it has. So probably a three speed. No, it's a four speed. That'll be fun to drive. We can get this thing running. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the bucket seats. I don't think they look right in here. Those are probably out of a van, I would guess. Floor pans are pretty solid. Ah, oh, what is this? 
That's that holds a spare tire. Gas smells not so good as you would expect. Solid truck though. Oh, automatic hood closer. That's pretty much it we can see here. Like I said, it is buried. I don't know if we'll get these tires to take any air. That one definitely not. I think the back ones are gonna hold air. We'll be able to get it on the trailer. What do you think, AJ? Can we drag this thing on the trailer? I don't know if he's gonna want us to unload all the stuff out of the back here. We'll have to ask him, but. We're gonna get the trailer over here and start dragging this thing on. What is that? Yeah, looks like an old funnel. It sure is. Two of the four tires held air, the fronts that are in the dirt, they obviously didn't, but we are hooked up. We're about to make a pull on this thing, so I'll set you guys up. We'll, yeah, we gotta get the ramps out. We'll get the ramps out, set you guys up, and we'll make our first pull on it, see if it'll come loose. Good job, bud. I know. I'm almost ready to be like you. Yep. AJ got her on the trailer. He was the winch man today. Went pretty easy. Came out of those holes. Definitely a long bed now that I can see it a little further back. Can I put this up? Yep, you can put it down. We're done with the winch. All right. On the trailer. <laughs> Let's drag it back to the shop, buddy. Yep. Good job. Wow, look at this. Look how much there was on the bottom of that. It's been sitting there a long time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's the next day and it has not quit raining since we picked this thing up. Yeah. We got it nosed in the shop here. It is a little rougher than I thought. I didn't look at it too close before we bought it. The guy was wanting to get rid of it. One of the things we, before we backed it in here, we kind of tried to clean up the engine a little bit and currently it is locked up. My fault, I definitely should have checked that before I made the purchase, but I got in it cheap enough. I, I don't think that's a deal breaker and hopefully we can get it free but still a neat old truck. 
we're gonna get it in here on the lift and see if we can get that thing unstuck and hopefully fire it up i don't know how much work we'll get to do on it today but we're at least going to get it in the shop so it can dry out because it is wet out here like i said it hasn't quit raining since we picked it up We've had about three inches of rain overnight and we finally gave up on it to quit and we're going to go ahead and get it inside yeah oh jack's here today too yeah he missed yesterday so let's get it in the shop see what it looks like aj's still here too Well, the flat tires don't roll very good. I think we're gonna have to get something and pull on it. All right, we've got the mule hooked up for some encouragement. We'll see, we still got the winch hooked up so we don't, it doesn't get away with from us. It, I'm guessing it won't with that flat tire, but Jack's gonna give it a little pull with the mule and we'll see if it comes on off there. We got it lined up on the lift. I'm gonna start to tear into it, see if we can see any obvious problems other than the fact that we can't get it to spin over. Yeah. See what we find under this air cleaner. It's still got the oil bath air cleaner on it. Is that original or what? I think so. Rather than having a filter in it, see Jack, it's got oil in it. Oh, yeah. That oil catches the dirt. That is a old school air cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad. What, buddy? Is that is that good oil or that's real old oil? I'm sure it's pretty old. What, hey, buddy? Dad, can you, can you put me up here on the bump? Climb up there, just like when you get on the mule. That oil does not look as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. It's pretty dirty though. It's dirty, but I figured. I thought it would be. If it's locked, bad. obviously you'd think water's get, gotten to it somehow. Yeah. What are you getting? A step stool. No, that thing's handy when you need it. I ran out of height. We pulled the dipstick. It didn't look like it was full of water. Actually, it looks fairly clean in there. Let me see that. What do you think that horn sounds like? <laughs> I think it sounds like a turkey. <laughs> I guess let's get this. Well, let's let's pull the dipstick. Oh. The dipstick's missing the handle. Which, it took us a while to find it. It could be why this could be where water got in if water got in. A little wet, but we did just wash it. We replaced, they replaced the handle with a little piece of cloth. The guy we bought this from was, he's a 90 year old man. And he, what, from what he could remember, what put this truck out of commission was it threw the harmonic balancer. Which as you can see, it has a harmonic balancer back on it, which on a, on a 235 six cylinder, that balancer does not bolt on like a small block Chevy. It just presses on. One of the things I like to do is I like to drill and tap that and put a bolt in it. But it threw the balancer, he put it back on, he said he dropped the pan when he put it back on and he didn't have a gasket. Is that the harmonic balancer, right? Yeah, that little skinny thing that's got the belt hooked onto it. Oh, okay. Okay. So he didn't have an oil pan gasket when he replaced the balancer and got it back in place. So what he said he did was he bolt, he just put a few bolts in the pan and stuck it back on there and never came back and finished it. Okay. I haven't looked yet. I think now's the time we need to get this thing in the air. Take a look at that oil pan and if it does just have a few bolts in it, 
We'll go ahead and drop it, see what that bottom end looks like. Give her a little test shake. Seems pretty steady. All right, we're in the air. Let's see what we're working with. Start at the back. We have a lot of leaf springs. This thing must be a heavy hauler. Two piece drive shafts, got a carrier bearing. And sure enough, the old pan only has one, two bolts in it. In. Water could have got in there. It'd be interesting to see what that looks like. It still has the straight axle, factory suspension. I think what we ought to do first is we need to pull that drain plug, make sure it's empty, and then pull that pan, see what that bottom end looks like. Not too bad under here though. It's fairly clean. Floor plans look surprisingly solid. The bed, the wood floor does still exist. This thing's had steel put over that wood. But there is wood still under there. Man, that, I can't believe that that floor pan's solid with the cab corners looking like that. Pretty surprising. Cab mounts are intact, look good. I'm pretty happy with it under here. Looks nice. Let's pull that drain plug and see what the oil looks like. Oh no. Water. It is water. Oh no. That is not good. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be the end of our 59 Chevy build. The engine's full of water and locked up. We're going to take this thing to the scrapyard. <laughs> not really. Let's pull that pan and see how bad it is. It's still, it's still draining water. <sighs> not what we wanted to see but maybe it won't be too bad nice the all straight axle is super nice for giving you plenty of room to get the pan out it has definitely been wet on this bottom end. You see some surface rust there. After I looked a little closer, I did see an issue on the third cylinder. Definitely, I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but definitely rusty on that one. Not sure. All the other ones look fairly clean. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe there wasn't a head gasket issue that's a way bigger repair than i was hoping for on this pickup i thought this was something we could drag in here and get running in a weekend but i think we'll bring it down probably soak a little oil in each cylinder and then maybe wrap this thing up for the weekend i've heard everything when you got a stuck engine i've heard everything from diesel wd-40 just regular motor oil transmission fluid but something i've also heard is marvel mystery oil a guy gave me this gallon of Marvel Mystery Oil a few years ago. I don't use it for anything. I've never used it for anything. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to give it a shot. I'm not, I'm not super optimistic that it's going to free it up, but we'll give it a chance throughout the week. And hopefully next weekend we can at least get it to move and maybe we can pull the head off of this thing and see how bad that cylinder looks. Whoa, missed a little bit. This stuff's red. I didn't know it was red. Give it a big drink. That's going to wrap up our weekend on the 59. Didn't end the way I'd hoped. I really thought we could get this thing going in a weekend, but ran into the issues with the six cylinder. Not, not that big a deal. I know we'll still get it. I have a whole nother engine for it if we need it out of a 61 Chevy. 
that we can stick right in there. I know we can do that in a weekend. So hopefully on our next episode with the 59, we'll drive this thing. I'm excited about it. Maybe we'll teach Jack how to drive a standard in this thing, depending on how it drives. But thank you guys so much for watching. And everybody that came over from Grow Jack, we greatly appreciate it. We're, we're gonna use this channel for all of our shop projects. It's not just gonna be automotive related. We're gonna do welding projects. We're gonna build things. Everything that we do here in the shop is gonna be over on this channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and maybe leave me a comment on, maybe you know how to get this engine unstuck because I sure don't. We're gonna try that Marvel mystery oil for this week and see what next week brings. Thank you guys for watching.